The arms race of the Cold War era inspired a series of new weapons. In Europe, Yugoslavia had a strong defense industry. In service since 1979, the BVP M80 is a remarkable infantry fighting vehicle developed entirely in Yugoslavia. After dissolution in 1992, it continued to serve in Bosnia and Herzegovina, Croatia, Serbia, and Slovenia. The recent war in Ukraine has shown the intense vitality of older generations of weapons. In June 2022, Slovenia gave Ukraine 35 BVP M80 track ammo IFVs in an agreement with the United States to receive new modern weapons. According to the military balance 2021, the Slovenian has a total of 46 BVP M80 A, 14 of which are in service and 32 in stock. The BVP M80 A is an improved version of the M80 version. The layout of the vehicle is very similar to the Russian BMP1 with the driver seated in the front left side of the hull and the power pack on its right, a turret in the middle of the top hull, and the tube's compartment at the rear. The vehicle has a crew of three, including a driver, commander, and gunner, and can accommodate up to seven infantrymen. They can engage the enemy with personal armament through six gun slits on both vehicle sides and back doors. Infantry leaps IFV through two doors at the back of the vehicle. The BVP M80 is fitted with a one-man turret armed with a 20mm automatic cannon, a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun, and two Sager anti-tank guided missile launchers mounted on the right side of the turret. Standard equipment of the vehicle includes an NBC protection system, fire suppression system, heating, and water ejecting system. The BVP M80 A is powered by a Daimler Benz OM403 engine developing 320 horsepower. It can run at a maximum road speed of 65 km per hour with a maximum cruising range of 500 km. It is fully amphibious and can perform crossing of any water barrier without previous preparations at a maximum speed of 7 km per hour. Total production estimated range from 600 to 800. These vehicles served in the Yugoslavian army until the partition in 1991 and the existing vehicles passed on to successor states according to their former garrisons. They participated in the whole operations of the Yugoslavian wars, including the war in Slovenia in 1991, the Croatian War of Independence from 1991, the Bosnian War from 1992, and the Kosovo War from 1998 to 1999.